So these are the six simple ingredients we'll be needing to make today's recipe. We'll be needing some white Pacific shrimp. And these are the shrimp that you normally get at the grocery store. These are the big ones. Um, you can either get them, or buy them raw, or you can um, buy them frozen. Uh, just ask for your fishmonger. And we'll also be needing some extra virgin olive oil, some salt. Uh, you can either use kosher salt or sea salt, but in this case, I'll be using a pink Himalayan salt. And we'll also be needing some butter and some minced garlic and also some green onions. So here are the ingredients. I'll probably add some more butter later on because after all this is garlic butter shrimp. By the way, when you're done uh, cutting your green onions, save the bottom part of it with the root. What I do is I just stick it in, in this little jar with some water in the bottom. And once you leave it in there, it'll sprout some more, um, some more leaves, some more green onions. So, you know, you'll, you'll save money this way. So you can still use this. So this is what I've been doing. Um, this has been growing for about a week now. So yeah, so just reuse, reuse the, um, the bulb, the bottom part of the, of the green onions. You'll save money that way. Okay, so let's turn on our stove. So medium heat. I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil just to start. Okay, then we'll add some butter. And then the garlic. It's going to be lots of garlic on this one. Then we add the shrimp. And then I'm just going to add some salt, season it. So just keep, just keep turning it until the shrimp turns opaque, this sort of um, pinkish orange color. So just keep tossing it in the pan.
I wish you can really smell this. It's really good. It smells so good in the kitchen right now. And it doesn't take too long for the shrimp to cook. So don't overcook the shrimp. Otherwise, it's going to be very um, chewy and rubbery. And then we'll add the green onions. And just toss that around. And then I'll add some pepper. See how it looks? There it is. Doesn't that look great? looks so good and it smells so good as well look at that This is pretty much done, so that didn't take too long to cook. So we're just going to turn off the heat and then serve this. So we're just going to serve this on our plate here. Okay, so we're just going to pour all that buttery goodness all over the shrimp. Here's our garlic butter shrimp. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you um, enjoyed this recipe and I hope you'll try it next time you're looking for something to um, cook in the kitchen that um, has uh, only a few ingredients and very simple to make. And also I would like to thank those who recently subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it and uh, hopefully I'll see you again on my next vlog and I'll try to come up with uh, some more interesting things and also some more um, 
different recipes on this channel. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.